Uh, hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu again. Uh, I want to make this uh, short presentation about uh, uh, my so-called uh, Whoopi Pulsar. It's a uh, Pulsar which originally was uh, designed or implemented by uh, Whoopi. And uh, I will use it for uh, several uh, testing purposes later on. Uh, it's basically a uh, Kesher coil. In the middle you can see the Kesher. And uh, it's uh, driven by two uh, 12 volts batteries in series, creating 25 volts. Uh, please note uh, the little fuse, I have here 6 amp fuse, uh, which is, uh, should, should be implemented for everybody working on batteries. For the little shorts you can make. I uh, burnt a f lot of uh, those fuses because uh, a mistake is easy made, so this is a very important safety uh, device. I have the uh, L1 coil in the middle at the moment, two turns. I have a one transistor uh, Kesha coil driver. Uh, I have a uh, copper tube with a slit in the middle from which I can tap the HF, the high voltage. It goes into the tube and out at the back. And there I have a uh, high voltage source. I also have the streamer uh, wire. It's not working at the moment. So I have this uh, HF and that, that goes in what I call the, uh, the Whoopi Pulsar. It's basically an uh, AV plug. Two high voltage uh, diodes going to a microwave oven capacitor with the outer casing going to ground and the output of the capacitor one uh, side the plus side goes to a uh, lightning arrestor discharge 600 volt and that one goes to this uh, car coil ignition car coil to the plus and what you've got is then a uh, high voltage spark coming from the middle and going back to the uh, to the minus of the uh, the microwave oven schematic look a little bit like this here we have the cache arrangement this is the uh, copper pipe with split in the middle going to an AV plug a cap thread like uh, uh, construction with going to uh, to ground and then the plus going to the lightning arrestor spark gap 600 volts into the uh, car ignition coil. So I have a uh, one second high voltage pulse with I can vary uh, the, f the, f the voltage with uh, varying this, uh, this distance between the two. Uh, uh, outputs. Uh, I will now uh, connect the, the thing up and you can see and hear it will uh, it's going to spark and also the lightning arrestor is uh, firing not sure if you can see it and this one is uh, uh, determining the, uh, the frequency of the spark until the cap is filled up with 600 volt then it will ignite and then it will trigger the uh, ignition coil. So this is uh, the basic setup I have for doing uh, some further uh, high voltage tests on, on coils and capacitors in the future. And uh, this is uh, what I uh, uh, will continue uh, to use uh, for the time being. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, welcome back. Uh, for this uh, first experiment I uh, want to use my uh, Whoopi Pulsar to uh, measure the pulses uh, coming from this, uh, what is it, uh, coil capacitor combination. 
it basically is a kind of this uh, motor start start motor capacitor uh, the one I have here is a 40 instead of 30 it's a 40 microfarad 600 volt uh, motor start capacitor and I've wound uh, a coil around it it's about uh, 25 turns I think and I have a little spark gap created here uh, about two millimeters so the the voltage the pulse on the coil will be around 2000 volt and I have hooked my red probe across the uh, across the capacitor and this will show the pulse I get out when I start my whoopie pulser and you can see this is the pulse coming from uh, the whoopie pulser it's about uh, peak to peak uh, 40 50 volts and the frequency the ringing frequency is uh, about 11, 11 depending on the, the number of turns on the coil so it's an AC kind of uh, high frequency ringing pulse you get from this kind of uh, configuration and the more turns you have the lower the frequency will be 15, 14, 15 megahertz uh, so nothing really special coming from this. I can increase the spark and this will increase the pulse but uh, I don't want to get too high because of my, uh, my scope. Okay I will try now another microwave uh, oven capacitor and do the same test. Okay welcome back here is the microwave oven uh, capacitor under test same amount of turns I guess 25 30 perhaps and this is the uh, scope shot from uh, I have some more power out peak to peak uh, 95 volts depends a little bit and the ringing frequency is uh, a little bit higher 16 15 megahertz So this microwave oven uh, behaves the same like the other one. Uh, not sure what to do with this, but uh, anyway, this is the output of this uh, pulse-like uh, coil capacitor combination thing. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is it. So uh, for a short uh, video, uh, I decided to hook up a AV plug across the uh, motor start capacitor and uh, hook uh, the single point to uh, ground and uh, monitor the, uh, the voltage across the capacitor via my multimeter and uh, when I uh, attach it and I hear the spark going it's about uh, two millimeters two thousand volts and you can see that uh, we are now building up a DC voltage in the cap with this uh, pulse we just saw before uh, it goes to about 50 volts I think so we can get some power out of this pulse but uh, it's not very useful with uh, the frequency uh, my uh, my rig is pulsing so perhaps if you have a higher frequency pulse rate and uh, higher sparks then uh, you get could get some power out of this uh, I thought uh, thought I would mention this okay thank you for watching